Hi guys, welcome to my channel where I do informative product reviews. If you're new here, I'm Tash and for those who've already subscribed, thanks very much for your support, I really appreciate it. Well today I will be reviewing Tiger Nuts and showing you how to use them to make non-dairy milk. And I want to say thanks to People Tail and Eco Ideas for sending me these Tiger Nuts and Tiger Nut Oil. I received four bags of Tiger Nuts and this is what they look like. The first one is sliced, the second one the skins are removed, the third one it's ground and the last one is just a regular whole Tiger Nuts. And all these Tiger Nuts are organic. Each bag of Tiger Nuts costs $8.99 while the Tiger Nut oil costs $24.48 and this is Canadian dollars. There are many other Tiger Nut products that are on the market, for example, flour, bread, biscuits, spreads. But for today's video, I will only be reviewing the Tiger Nuts themselves. With that said, you're probably wondering, what are Tiger Nuts? Unlike what the name suggests, they're not nuts. They're tubers, so basically root vegetables, something similar to a potato but way smaller, and they originated in Africa. They got their name from the stripes on their exterior. And this is what they look like. They're small like the size of a chickpea. They look very dry and wrinkled. Tiger nuts are rich in prebiotic fiber and if you've never heard of prebiotics or you're not fully sure what they are, I'm sure you've heard of probiotics before. So what prebiotics do is the act as food for probiotics and this helps you to have a healthy gut. Tiger nuts are very nutritious. I mentioned that they're very rich in fiber. One ounce of tiger nuts contains 10 grams of fiber, so it will keep you full for a very long time. They are also a good source of plant-based protein, iron, zinc, potassium, magnesium, calcium, vitamin C and E. Plus it's a great nut alternative for people with allergies because they are nut-free, gluten-free and dairy-free, making it very easy for you to add them to your diet, especially if you are following one that's vegan or paleo. And the other good thing about it is that you can use it even if you have diabetes because it won't spike your blood glucose level. Let's move on to what they taste like and the different ways to eat them. Tiger nuts have a very interesting texture and taste. I've never really seen anything quite like this before. Surprisingly, they're sweet and they have a slight nut flavor and it's kind of like a combination of coconut mixed with almond nut and I actually like the flavor. It tastes good. It's unique. And you know I like coconut already. Tiger nuts are very versatile. There are many ways you can add them to your diet. You can have them raw or you can roast them or you can even add them to baked goods. If you're going to eat them raw, you can add them to your granola. You can add the sliced ones to your cereal or even your yogurt. Now if you're going to snack on them like nuts, you can eat them raw or you can add salt to them or you can even roast them. Personally, I wouldn't roast them because I think that would just make them way too hard to eat. I tried eating them raw and I didn't like it. They're hard and I must warn you, they require a lot of chewing. It reminds me a little bit of like when you're eating popcorn. Like I can't eat popcorn, I know it's weird. A lot of people <laughs> say I'm weird because I don't eat popcorn. But I can't digest that shelly or flaky texture. I can't find the right word. But you know what I mean. When you chew the popcorn, that kind of texture that you get, I can't digest it. So. That's the same texture that I get when I chew the tiger nuts. So if you don't have a problem eating popcorn, then you won't have a problem eating tiger nuts raw. And if you want to snack on them and they're a little bit too hard, you can always soak them in warm salt water and this will make them soft and give it a nice flavor. So because I'm not a fan of snacking on them, I prefer to use them to make non-dairy milk. So let me show you how I do it. Okay. To make the milk, you'll need the tiger nuts, you need a sweetener and something for flavor. For my sweetener, I'll use dates. You can use honey or maple syrup if you prefer, or any other sweetener that you like. And for flavor, I'll use vanilla extract, and you can do the same. Or you can use cinnamon, nutmeg, any other flavoring that you like. To make the milk, you'll actually need to start a day before you need it because you have to soak the nuts overnight. What I did was to soak one cup of the regular whole tiger nuts overnight and this is what it looked like the next day. It doesn't matter how much water you put in the container, just make sure that enough water is in it to cover the nuts. I was expecting them to swell a bit but as you can see the size stays the same and they didn't even feel like they were softer. So maybe if you want them way softer um, to make it easier for your blender you can probably soak them for a little bit longer. I also soaked half cup of dates overnight just to make them easier to blend. If you're using dates, make sure that you remove the pits 
or you just buy the ones without the pits. So to start making the milk, all you need to do is to drain off the water from the tiger nuts, then add them to the blender, then add two cups of water. I use filtered water because I have that readily available, but I assume you can just use regular water. Then add the dates and vanilla extract. And I just realized that I don't have a shot of me adding those, but I did add them to it. So make sure you don't forget that. Then blend. Don't... <laughs> Don't make the same mistake I did. Ensure that your blender is completely off and covered properly before you plug it in. So I blend it for about 2 minutes but it depends on the power of your blender so just blend until the mixture is smooth enough to strain. This is what it looks like when I finish blending it. Doesn't it look like blended coconut? Well that's what it looks like to me. Now all you need to do is to strain it through a fine mesh strainer or even better if you have a nut bag or a cheesecloth, one of those would do a better job than a strainer. If you realize even though the exterior of the tiger nuts were a bit brown, when it's blend it looks completely white. After I strain it the first time you can see that it's still grainy so I ended up having to strain it three different times just to get a smooth milk like texture. So from one cup of tiger nuts with two cups of water, I ended up getting a little bit over one and a half cup of milk. So if you want it to be less rich, you can add more water to it before blending. But I like this texture of it because it reminds me a little bit of like whole milk itself. Instead of just being watered down. Once you're finished, pour it in a glass jar and store it in the fridge for up to three days. I've seen online where you can keep it up to 5 or 7 days, but from doing it, I like how it tastes up to 3 days. But if So if you make a lot of it and you know you won't be able to use it before 3 or 5 days, you can always freeze it and just thaw it out whenever you're ready. I really enjoyed the slight sweet nutty flavor that it has. And if you add any other flavor like cinnamon or nutmeg, it will just take on whatever flavor you add to it. And it's very delicious when you add it to like smoothies, you can add it to cereal, coffee, tea, or even drink it plain. Personally, I prefer to add it to cereal or just to drink it plain. You don't have to throw away the pulp, you can add it to your smoothie or use it to make baked goods. I throw away the pulp because I don't bake, mainly because I don't like following instructions. <laughs> And I have other stuff that I put in my smoothie, but I just want you to know that you can use the pulp also. I should let you know something I found out. Because I'm a big fan of warm food over anything that's cold, I tried warming up the milk in the microwave to add some cereal to it. And by the time it came out, it was just, it turned into a pudding. So apparently you can't warm it in the microwave. Maybe you can try the stove top, I'm not fully sure. Or you just have to drink it cold. So that day I ended up eating tiger nut pudding by mistake instead of cereal. Overall, I really enjoy using tiger nuts and figuring out different ways to incorporate it in my diet. Because I don't bake, I'll stick to using it for nut milk or even to make puddings. Well, these are my thoughts on tiger nuts. I hope you enjoy the video and can help you to decide if this is something that you would want to try or not. Thanks again for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.